Here's a video of my uh, new tank I got. It's set up in my garage because uh, you know, it's used. I was uh, making sure everything worked all right and I needed some uh, work. But this is a, a live, it was previously used as a live plant tank. Um, it's got four compartments. That's the last compartment there. It goes down to the sump. There's four compartments total. They uh, alternate the uh, overflow on each compartment. It's uh, three foot wide and uh, almost six foot long. You know, obviously different depths. It's got uh, two uh, 250 watt pendants above it. And uh, that, that overflow, I believe it's three inch, uh, flows down to uh, the sump down here. It's a 36 by 36 uh, sump. It has a sight glass on the side for uh, water level. Um, with it up at the top mark, the sump holds about 60 gallons of water. I'm going to take this door off. There's a uh, acrylic filter box there with holes drilled in the bottom of it. So catches the floss and uh, it needs to be cleaned out. You can see it's, it's clogged. That's why it's overflowing the top. You know, so you could put uh, a lot of other filter materials in here. Uh, heater and whatnot also. There's a strainer going down the intake of the pump. A yeah, little giant. Uh, I think it's a 4 MD Q, I think. Around 900 gallons an hour, I guess. And back up to uh, the bulkhead on the far side. And up through, uh, put this, the bulkhead on it originally was leaking, so I just replaced it with a piece of one inch with a T up at the top to you know, direct the flow either way. And then there's a uh, light switch uh, up high for the, uh, for the lights. But, uh, just got it the other day. Took me a little bit to uh, get it up and running. The, the pump was leaking. It was clogged. wasn't wasn't running when I got it. Um, but kind of excited about it. Just want to take some video and of it so I could show some people.